see the sunflowers that are in the tissue roll? I had the cups on top of them, and now something is nibbling on them. I'm going to make my soap mixture because ants or whatever is eating on them. And I'm going to make my cayenne pepper neem oil mixture and spray on them a little bit later today because it's scheduled to rain. So my clematis, my red clematis didn't come up this year. I'm so mad. Hold that thought. My onions are doing absolutely awesome. Onions and garlic. And my red, what was that? Sweet apple red onions are growing in here and doing just beautiful. So yes, plant them onions right now. Get them started. But I wanted to show you my roses are doing good. I'm going to spray them too. Keep on them. Hold that thought. My strawberry bed, I told you I have about five or six different places. This was bombarded with uh, wild strawberries, which basically suffocate your plants. Um, so I removed all of them. And for those who don't know what wild strawberry leaves look like, that's it back here, right here. The leaves are considerably smaller and they're evasive. They will suffocate my big, beautiful strawberry leaves in a blink of an eye. And look at my spicy lettuce coming up. Oh, they're mustards, but I call them spicy lettuce because they got the sriracha, nope, wasabi flavor to them. And look at my kiwi vine. Even though we had that frost, she is resilient this time and bouncing back. Count my blessings every day back here i'm gonna show you my roses and my clematis where the one by the shade greenhouse is not making it the one over here this is a uh, excuse the name pussy willow and this is my uh clematis over here it's purple this is my rose i'm going to tie her to the tree so she grows upward and she's going to be blooming in a minute i'm so happy for that and this is the other side, which another rose, but tied to the is a red one. And what do you say? These are thistle. <laughs> Can't stand them. Then you got the wild carrot. And that's what I spent the other day yanking up. Anyway, nevertheless. So this is the other clematis. That's pink, and this one is uh, red. Another rose, which are growing absolutely beautiful. I did de-weed all that area. That's mint that's growing, and I'm so diligently trying to get it up. These are going to be dill. Yeah, dill. Nevertheless, it is what it is. If you want to have a great garden, and you got to stay on top of it. I still didn't do my bonfire. The helper, Nesto, uh, and Eric very nicely distributed all of my uh, bags of raised bed mix. I did get some of the uh, weeds out of the strawberry bed. This is one type and that's another type. I don't particularly like that type, so I found out. But I'm gonna add some Epsom sauce to it to change the pH and the flavor just a bit. Even though I pruned all of the uh, forget me not in the back half of the alley. I'll let these stay for a little while and then I'll remove these first.